vulnerability. ICMP as a protocol is extremely handy for testing connectivity. This protocol itself is designed with two main type of messages. There are query message and error message. In a simple fashion, we use ICMP test reachability. The ping utility sends an echo request ISMP message to a destination IP address. If the host is alive, it sends back an ICMP echo reply. If the host is not alive on the network, then the request simply times out. The details of ICMP can be found in RFC 792. You know that ICMP headers contain type code information and these type code fields can be manipulated to coerce, coerce devices to reply when they shouldn't. We will take a look at this usage as an attack vector shortly. You should know that there are several well-known types of attack that utilize ICMP. These include ICMP sweep attacks, trace route, firewalk, inverse mapping, OS fingerprinting, ICMP informational message attack, and ICMP route discovery message attack. Let's Let's examine a few of these attacks to get a sense of what we will be dealing with as a security analyst working on Security Operation Center. Reconnaissance and scanning, scanning attacks are usually the start of an attack. This makes sense when you consider that most attacks need to gain information about what's out there before they can proceed to exploit system. Vulnerabilities and ICMP sweep is an example of a recon attack that aim to discover live host on the network. This type of attack can be performed manually, but more often than not an application such as nmap is used. In this example, we are using a string command to nmap that instructs the application to scan the entire 192.168.103.0/24 network and return a list of hosts that respond. Using this information, an attacker can begin to create a map of the network. Now, traceroute can add to an attacker's network discovery. Recall that traceroute sends an ICMP echo request to destination IP address with a TTL value initially set to one. At the first routed hop, the TTL expires and the router sends an ICMP time exceeded message back to the sender. The router is added to the list of layer three hops. The request is then sent again with a new TTL of two. The next layer three device in the path again decrements the TTL, sends an ICMP time exceeded message back to the sender and the process repeat. Not only this, does this provide path information to the attacker, but it also provides detail about our network topology, which include IP subnet information. An attacker can simply bounce back to the ICMP sweep of a specific subnet that was learned via traceroute. And then they now have even more devices that they can target for attack in the future. Well, so far, we have discussed how ICMP is vulnerable in such a way that, is, that its functionality is used by attacker to learn about our network. Another way that ICMP is vulnerable is an attack vector known as OS fingerprinting. Our operating system fingerprinting. Aside from knowing the existing of target devices an attacker also want to know the underlying operating system this affords the opportunity to determine specific attack that are relevant to that operating system using icmp for remote os fingerprinting is a stealthy way for an attacker to do just so this vulnerabilities exploit the fact that different vendor operating system handle network traffic differently for example, I can send a UDP packet with a DF bit set to target a host where a UDP port is closed. The target device will send an ICMP port unreachable message back. 
Examining the way that this packet is formatted can help determine the type of operating system that sent the reply, for example. <clears throat> Looking the TOS byte or TOS byte, if the value is 0xc0, then it is likely that the target device is running Linux. Other fields that are used in this determination include the IPTTL field as well as the IPID field. Yes, attacker can use ICMP in many ways, from ICMP tunneling to denial of service to distributed denial of service attack, such as the Smurf attack, which created a distributed DOS attack on an unsuspecting host. Knowing about how IC attack, ICMP attacks are formulated how, and how they are used can help a security analyst to spot these anomalies when analyzing network traffic. So I will finish ICMP vulnerabilities until here. So please subscribe our channel for more interesting tutorials and video. Thank you.